How did you manage the success that probably fell on you also in Czech Republic after you put mm. the song for Eurovision? Are the girls chasing you in the streets now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, which we do. <laughs> um, and I enjoy that very much. <laughs> um, but success, you know, it depends on what you define by success. I mean, if you look at yourself wanting to be on Billboard Hot 100, then what has happened is not much of a, 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 a turnover. Uh, so, so um, my ambition is to just, you know, you, you begin with, with having childish dreams and, and then you come to a point where you seem to have reached them but you don't feel happy about it. So my dream most of all is to be happy what I'm doing. If I am anywhere, I there must be a reason why I'm at this place doing this uh, and, and the reason is always the same. I, I'm here because I, I love it or I'm, I'm enjoying it. So yeah, my dream is to be happy doing what I'm doing and not get exhausted from it and not get uh, burned out from it. So, mm. so, so I also yeah. know you used to model before, yeah. right? And yeah. do you think that I have a feeling that of course after Eurovision mm. you're going to get so many offers again to do some modeling stuff. Mm. Do you think you would accept that? Or? Uh, if now a brand approaches me, I don't want it to be because of my face or because of my height or, or because of my body. I think that's kind of superficial and that it was one of the reasons why I left modeling because this is something that you're born with and uh, something that you cannot change. So if somebody approaches me, I want it to be because of my music. And uh, if they don't do it this way, then no thank you. So, yeah, but yeah. still gonna work good in music videos and posters and everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it I wasn't mean, in vain. Right? Yeah, it, it was not in vain, but um, modeling is very different to fashion. Mm. Those are two quite different things and I love fashion. Um, uh, I would like to, or I actually am already working on some designs of my own, especially in women's clothing. Um, and modeling like is sporty style, or it's actually it's something between Zara and Michael Kors, something like this. Uh, I love shoes. Um, I think shoes are the most attractive thing, or not, on a woman. Um, it's always something that I check out first. Particularly on a woman. So it'll be Particularly, shoes, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. I just I was I was born weird, I guess. <laughs> um, so I would like to get into that, but modeling. Uh, can be somehow a little bit tricky. I definitely know that I don't want to have um, uh, uh, anything to do with running around uh, castings and having uh, one billion modeling agencies um, um, that treat you as one of many, many, many guys standing in a line. Um, so I know that for sure. However, if, if some future collaborations happen, then please, Nicholas is a, is a musician, not a model, so, so, so please accept it and, and we can do it. <laughs> yeah. I know you also um, studied at a drama academy, is that correct? Yes, I didn't actually study yeah. uh, at the academy, I just did the exams and, and uh, ended up ended up having the best possible result there was so awesome. so it was it was not to praise myself too much and to stay yeah, humble um, it was not that difficult uh, <laughs> um, Who I was thought London right uh, yeah. <laughs> but I was very into acting I, I love it um, so my question was actually is it leading sorry. to some, no 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 uh, just the continuation of the question yeah. is that leading to some acting a little bit of some drama on the scene like on the stage of Eurovision or will it be Ooh. mostly singing and dancing I think even when you dance you have to put yourself in a in a feeling just like you would if you were acting and every time your song comes up you have to get that atmosphere of the song into yourself so acting helps a lot with this it shouldn't be acted acting is not really acting it should be true felt and that's what makes the acting good um, and 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 the song is something that helps a lot so um, even when I'm in the video um, of course I'm feeling the song, I'm feeling the vibe and it makes me do some things. So you can call that acting uh, or you don't have to. So it depends uh, if I'll do acting or not. It's difficult to answer actually. I will definitely feel the song if that's what you're asking. Uh, but I definitely don't mean to do anything that wouldn't have to have anything to do with the track. like. Smiling into every camera I see, I, I find that very um, uh, annoying when it comes to artists sometimes. Um, <laughs> just trying to sell yourself as much as you can. So no, I'm here to do my trek and, and, and do the song as, much, as, as well as I can. So, so okay. that's it, I guess. Mm. And in Ukraine they asked you if you were a dancer first and then a singer. Is yeah. And you said that no, I didn't study dancing. Is that no. true? <laughs> um, I, I did some dancing on the side in the past, of course. But it was never like music. Um, it was it was like I had some lessons. Um, I never went to a dance school, and 
if a good song comes up then I do some moves uh, you can call it dancing I don't know how other people would call it but but yeah I guess I have a specific style of dancing <laughs> but I don't know I don't know but but I like it I like it very much I like to do some power moves sometimes um, I was I was doing gymnastics with a little bit of break dance so I'm trying to get back to it for Eurovision let's see how successful I will yeah, be I with that yeah I think break dancing really has a little bit of this you know I saw it in yeah. Ukrainian moves yeah. <laughs> I mean when you danced in Ukraine a little yeah. bit <laughs> so yeah. it, it should be some part of the show yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay cool. I will do my best I'll do my best <laughs> yeah. cool. my dance trainer is currently listening to your song thinking shall we take it for the next hip hop choreography so really? you might see us doing cool. some hip hop cool. super cool super cool so, so you are, you, you're a dancer yeah I dance a lot yeah. like hip hop just like fun hip-hop. Contemporary really? and really? Michael Jackson style. Oh! Yes. <laughs> I don't want to say too much about the performance, but maybe no. Let, let me not tell you anything. But okay. but there are some parts that can be related to some people. Um, uh-huh. But we'll see about that. <laughs> okay, there's something in it. <laughs> and uh, most people ask you about the camel. I don't really care about the camel so much because when you Thank came you. to Ukraine, that was the hardest performance I, I could imagine because it was so like natural and um, like not fake at all, you know. Yeah. And, and these things don't happen too much at Eurovision because yeah, it's no. all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In your case, you just came like a schoolboy coming. You are my person, school. kind of actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then that's exactly blew everybody away. I think this uh, performance you did in, in Ukraine got so yeah. many views and like yeah. feed, good feedback, yeah. like yeah. almost as much as the camel yeah. <laughs> in the music video, because that was like just so like, um, like you know, there's no special maybe preparation or anything. It was just so natural, and at the same time, like I don't remember anybody being like a schoolboy. Hey, you know, I'm like dancing, chilling. I, yeah. It's something unique. <laughs> um, so maybe thank you should you. stay with that. <laughs> I'm I'm staying with that. Um, okay. uh, when I so I went over to Ukraine, and uh, it happened so fast. So I just went. I bought some clothes that I liked and um, that I thought that fits with the video also. Um, and then I just got on stage. Um, did what I do without any preparations and, and then we spoke with the, uh, with the management in Czech TV and they were like we really like what you did there let's just stay with that and exactly. I was like cool that's me so I, can, yeah. I don't have to pretend to be anything else and I feel the same way about Eurovision actually like you um, I sometimes feel like people overacted and um, I just don't believe in it honestly and it's a whole circus around them but no I want to do it in a, in a way that will not betray me uh, stay authentic and hopefully people will appreciate it but if they don't then they don't so mm. yeah I do hope I already bet money on you I hope you win really <laughs>